Welcome back Interior Alaska and happy Labor Day. Joe Cook here with the Monday Sportscast. The weekend recap is coming up, but first we have the annual Labor Day 5K run. Over 30 runners came out to Pioneer Park for the run in beautiful conditions. Started around noon, the course took them over the pedestrian bridge out to Phillips Field Road and around the Carlson Center before turning around a little past the Riverfront Theater for the Pioneer Park. Pioneer Park finish. Nick Jansen, he led from start to finish. The veteran runner finished in 18 minutes, 39 seconds for the overall title. A nice pack of runners finished under 22 minutes right behind him as well. The runners had a front row seat to the Labor Day Parade at the finish area after the race, which is a nice show there. And a visitor from down south won the women's title. 62-year-old Ellen Brown from Anchorage finished in about 23 minutes. She says running in these events keeps her young at heart. That's what keeps me feeling young as I hang out and run with younger people. And they have so much energy and they inspire me. And Thank you. It's awesome. Oh, the course is beautiful. No traffic, uh, no major street crossings and lots of cute young volunteers out there cheering us on. It was awesome. I, I think I held kind of a consistent pace out there. It was just mostly about six minute miles and slightly over that. Uh, I mean, I don't normally run with a watch, but for some reason today I, I decided to put one on. I was checking it and kind of kept a pretty consistent pace. What, what better to do on a gorgeous day like today than go run? And it was a strong opening weekend for UAF Athletics. One team won their event, another showed promise for the season ahead. The Alaska cross country teams won the Moda Health Alaska Invitational title that the highest combined scores from the men's and women's teams after two days of running. Big start for them. The UAF volleyball team, they didn't win a match in the Flint Hills Resources Nana Classic, but they did win five competitive sets. That's the most since 2012 and more than double from last year. We'll have more on these season opening events in Tuesday's Nanak Corner. In high school football, the North Pole Patriots are the first interior team to win a conference title. Saturday night, the Patriots hosted the Thunder Mountain Falcons in Southeastern Conference play. It was all North Pole in the first half. They were up 21 to nothing at the end of the first quarter. Do Rogers, he finds Marshall Chase to extend the lead with 24 yard scoring play. Tough running there from Chase. Rodgers, he finished with 279 total yards and three touchdowns for the Pats. James Bartley, he got in on the action. His second touchdown went for 25 yards. The North Pole, they led 41 to nothing at the half. And you see the Patriots fans, they're loving it. They will win the game 41 to 20 and clinch their second straight SEC title. Their up-tempo offense was the catalyst for a dominant first half. We, we know we do a fast tempo offense and so we think how do we make it faster? What can we do to make it faster? Every day when practice, every day in the meeting rooms we're always trying to figure out what can we do to make it faster, make us better, push our ceilings. So that's what happened. Yep, we felt like we left a lot on the field last week you know, not having that good first half. Um, so it was really important to, to come out strong and uh, really put ourselves back on track where we should have been because you know, we got a big push ahead of us. Uh, that, that NLC has got three or four teams deep that are really strong. You know, and, and so we're going to have to get some work done uh, over these next four weeks to be able to be ready to win a playoff game. And that brings us to the week four ASBN football polls for the large schools. Chugiak is the new number one team after they beat previous number one West Anchorage. West is second, followed by Bartlett, Diamond, and East. And the small and medium schools ranking. So high is first, followed by Allison, who beat Barrow 27-6 on the road over the weekend. Then it's Nikiski and North Pole. So high and Allison are the last undefeated teams in the state and at 4-0. Palmer and Juno are both ranked fifth in this week's poll. Monroe could have made it into the polls, but they fell to Valdez 32 to six on the road. To close out the sports cast, we start up the interior top five plays for the 2015-2016 season, which one of these five plays will be the first play of the week. Check them out. Coming in at number five, the Monroe Rams finish a long rally in the second set against the Ravens. The nice effort from the back line is finished off by Clara Cox. She had a game-high 12 kills as the Rams sweep Allison in their World Conference Open. At number four, flag football, Alizé Anderson of North Pole finds Tia Sullivan for a 62-yard touchdown. That was the game winner as North Pole beats Hutchinson 12-7 in the season opener for both teams. At number three, Megan Olsen gets a key dig. Amberlene Jean would eventually get the kill for seven point as Alaska wins their first set of the season 25-17 over the Minot State Beavers. The Beavers won the match in five sets. Coming at number two, check out the shifty James Bartley. His 25-yard scamper behind his blockers gave the Patriots a 35-0 lead in the second quarter. The Pats captured their second straight SEC title 41-20 over Thunder Mountain on Saturday. 
At number one, UAF's Dorothy O'Donnell earns two third place finishes, 23-36 in the 6K and 19-10 in the 5K to lead the Alaska Nanix to the overall team title in the Moda Health Alaska Invitational over Seattle Pacific and Montana State Billings in their first meet of the year. To vote for the play of the week, click on your favorite play on the i5 poll on webcenter11.com. You can also comment on the KTVF Facebook and YouTube posts and at KTVF 11 Sports on Twitter for your vote. The play of the week will be revealed this Friday. The i5 Sports Report is brought to you by Adiant Orthopedic Physical Therapy. And that'll do it for sports tonight. Mike Schultz is up next with your forward with the forecast, and we'll catch you next time.